in my head and in my heart, I knew I wanted to go to Covenant, but I knew without scholarships that it just, it wasn't possible. I think from the very beginning, you could see the Lord working in Justin's life. He just has always been very positive. He's a very upbeat kid, and he's someone that works so hard. Justin is a gatherer, so he's the kind of guy that would say, hey, look, let's all get together and do this one thing. My name is Justin. Um, I'm from here in Chattanooga. I'm now a sophomore at Covenant. I split time living here in Savannah, Georgia. Based on whether or not we can afford where we were living, we moved to Savannah to go stay with my grandma. My grandma passed away when I was 12, and we don't have the help and support no more. So we moved to an inner city neighborhood in Chattanooga. Um, a lot of crime, a lot of shootings, a lot of kids where I come from, they don't make it out of where we come from. I started playing Chattanooga Sports Ministries. I was walking home one day in the neighborhood I lived in, summer after I turned 14, and I see a car pull up next to me, and they're like, hey, Justin. And I'm like, oh, wow, it's Hannah and Jemar Griggs, you know? And they invite me over to their house to eat lunch with them, come to church with them. I was like, sure, why not? We normally would bring like 12 boys with us, um, and that particular Sunday, it just ended up being Justin. So we're sitting on our back porch. And I got really vulnerable. I was in a rough, rough place at that time. My mom was going through a lot, a lot going on at home. Honestly, we had a six month old at the time. We we're not that much older than than Justin. And we were like, I don't, I don't think we need to open up our home right now. But the Lord made it so obvious that this is what needed to happen. It, it was like, okay, we're in, we're doing this. And they openly took me and my younger brother in, which was a blessing from God. Nobody from my family made it past high school. They tell me about this 360 program that Covenant has um, to go stay at Covenant for two days. After 360, I was just like, Covenant's awesome. Like, it's a great place for me. But I look at the financial side of Covenant, you know, a lot of money, and I'm just like, how can I afford this? Better yet, how can my parents afford this? So I went up to scholarship weekend. The scholarship I was looking at was the Wibbleforce Scholarship, which is basically the leadership scholarship. The way the Wibbleforce Scholarship works out, you write a paper before and you write about um, what a leader is and what a leader looks like and um, what do you want to do? What's something that you wish to do? What makes Justin a good leader is a, is a true servant heart, right? He, he's not there to seek anything for himself and people can notice that right away. And so it's easy to get behind Justin. For him to have the opportunity to actually go for you know, a very little cost to make it affordable, to make it be a place where he could live on campus. The other schools, he wasn't gonna be able to live on campus. I think it's totally been a trajectory changer for him. And the impact that we see him already making as a 19 year old has been incredible. And it makes me excited seeing you know, him at first pres and still coaching with CSM. And that's been really neat to watch him even developed the last few years. And understanding like I am a leader and I can I can do this. I can make an impact on people. I want to finish out my time at Covenant, get my math degree, come back for a fifth year, get my master's. I want to teach for a little while. That's one way I want to give back and serve people is by loving kids, you know. A lot of kids grow up in these rough towns and we don't know things that they're going through. So I guess that's one way we can give back and can love on them is just by being able to teach. When you give like this, you are directly impacting um, a child's life. And I'm so grateful Justin's taken the opportunity that he's been given and the Lord has gifted him in so many ways and he's succeeding. But I mean, we couldn't be in the position we are without people giving generously.